Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Escape Pod channel and welcome to this very, very special video. This is very special because I am joined by one of our biggest, most key members of the community. Uh, it is absolutely my pleasure to be sitting down and talking to right now, Sonny Wolf. Sonny Wolf, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good. That's amazing. Uh, I got to tell you that we uh, we are doing this over Skype, which is something that I never use. Uh, but apparently, you are an expert when it comes to Skype. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that uh, this is going to work. If anything goes wrong, I can ask for your expertise. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. Uh, I've got a big first question for you, Sonny. Big first question, yeah. right? Hit me with it. I'm, all right, big. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Right. Why are you called Sunny yeah. Wolf? Why are you called Sunny Wolf? That's my big first question. See, that's that's the thing. I got, I got like, Twitter when I was, like, 14, and I named myself Sunny Wolf. I've got Tumblr, and I named myself Sunny Wolf. It's, like, a whole different thing, and I have no idea why. I think it was because, like, hmm, Wolf, Sunny, got it. And then YouTube was, like, well, I got this wolf picture. Well, you know what? I'll just call myself the Sunny Wolf. And then I decided to go stay like that because why not? And it's like, the old me thought, hey, let's call myself that. And think of not anything else. Why there'd be a reason behind it. Hey, look. Anything I do has no reason. <laughs> no, hey, it's a brilliant name. It's a brilliant, brilliant name. I really like it. Sunny Wolf, I mean, it just it just works. I mean, I, I kind of, I think I'm going to be referring to you as Sunny throughout this. Um, I, That's all right. Uh, is that all right? Uh, yeah. Just because I think I refer to you mostly as Sunny during the streams, but that's just naturally how things have kind of developed, if you will. But I really like the name. I really like it. I think it's really cool. Thanks. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself then. So where where are you sat right now? Like what what are you in America? I'm guessing you're in one Canada. of the states. You're in Canada. Yeah, Ontario. Okay. Southern Ontario. So like I'm near Detroit. Right. So you're kind of on the border. Near Detroit and six to seven hours ish away from Toronto. Right. And um, so how far away are you from the Detroit from the U.S. Oh, so I gotta go past Toronto. I'm gonna guess nine hours away, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, it's not it's not as if you can pop to the US one day yeah, or yeah. anything like that. It's a I little... went to a yeah, I went to a school field trip to Detroit Zoo, and it was like we had to go seven p.m. and then we got there around I'm guessing one one p.m. Right. Okay. So, good few hours then good few hours yeah and um why didn't they just go has toronto not got a zoo why didn't you go to a canadian zoo they, they, they have, have a it... zoo okay they have a zoo i think that uh the but... school wanted to go to detroit right that, okay that makes more sense i just didn't know if the animals might be cooler in the detroit zoo or something and that's why you were going I probably i mean look, i don't want to say that the animals are definitely cooler in Detroit compared to Toronto. I don't want to make those claims, Sonny. I don't want to make those. I don't want to get caught up in any of that. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 let the, the, we'll let the people watching decide what they think. So you're in Canada. We know for a fact that you have been to the yeah. zoo in Detroit. That's a fact. Uh, but talk to yeah. us about wrestling. So when did you first get into wrestling? So I first got, it, got into wrestling around got to say 2010, 2011, I'm guessing. Wow. And that was when my mom was with her former husband. Okay. So, like, I got there in 2010, and then 2014, that's when Jon Stewart came along. So I got stuck into late night, and I just got back into WWE 2018 after YouTube recommended me the Fun House. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's that? That's pretty. <laughs> oh, really? So what? The fun house really brought you back? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I had to uh, go back a couple of years and figure out what the heck I missed. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So, I mean, like we talk all the time about how impactful the fun house is and how cool the fun house is and, you know, all the theories and all that kind of stuff. But 
I mean, you are an example of someone that really got brought back into wrestling because of the Funhouse. And you just saw it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you found it. Amazing. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing. YouTube, this... Yeah, I just get recommended a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Oh, so I'm guessing this next question is going to be a really stupid question, but hey, that's what I'm known for. So, um, <laughs> what is what is your favorite current wrestler and why? Bray Wyatt. Wyatt. He makes me happy, and he's very imaginative and creative, and, and I like what he does. It's like a very good storyteller of what I want to be too. Well, that's a really, really great answer because there's a lot of people that say like Bray Wyatt because he's cool, uh, which is fine. But I really like what you've just said there. Yeah. You, you've you just said that you like him because of his creativity and because he's a storyteller and that's, you know, something that you would like to do in the future. So I think that's a really great answer. So um, what do you think the future is going to hold for, for Bray then? That's an interesting question. Because nobody knows what Bray does. It's always a mystery. Mm. So it's like, what, what's next? Nobody knows. And it's like, with that Swamp Match that's coming on, what's going to happen? It's like, it's interesting. Mm. So you're like, is there going to be more than one Bray? Because it looks like it. That's like popped up every now and then. So you like, think... I'm excited for that. Okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, the Swamp Match definitely is capturing people's imaginations, but um, maybe, I don't know, how do you feel it about... Not, the... It's not even a title match. I was just about to say, oh, look at this. We're now reading each other's minds. I was literally just about to say, how do you feel about it not being a <laughs> title match? That's what I was about to say. So what, yeah, like, how, how, what do you think? Yeah, it gives much and... of more chance for Bray to win. It is more chance for Bray to win. It is more chance, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Because I'm looking at it and it's like not not a title, so does that mean Swamp Bray is gonna win? Because it make make more of sense probably, unless they have him lose, and then that makes way for Fiend versus Braun. Mm. Would you like Would you like a Wyatt family to reunite? I'm not sure. Like I like Bray on his own. But I'm guessing if they do want a Wyatt family, then I guess that's up to Bray and stuff. So it's like, and if the Wyatt family did come back, I would have it as, as a Bray, Braun, and Bo. The three Bs. The three Bs, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think they're heavily teasing Rowan coming back, aren't they? We keep seeing <laughs> Rowan. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps they'll I think have to... he might have them as a one-time thing. Okay. Maybe they'll have to change his name to Bowen. So they can be the four Bs. The four Bs. Hey. <laughs> hey. Bowen. Big Bowen. Uh, so what would be, I'm oh, guessing, yeah. I'm guessing I know one of the people that's going to be in this match. I might know both actually, but what is your dream wrestling match? Your dream wrestling match. What would that be? Okay, I wrote them down. Whoa. I wrote a couple of them down. Hello. Organised organization in so, the house yeah go ahead Heck yeah so i have fiend versus foley in a fun house match oh wow that'd be cool and i have fiend versus taker that's the one as, i thought you would say uh Taker versus fiend and a winner becomes the new dark leader yeah wow the new dark leader dark leader uh, dark leader have... of who uh Dark leader of the darkness. <laughs> dark leader of the darkness. What a silly question I just asked. Of course, the dark leader of the darkness. There was a band called The Darkness. I'd love to see either Undertaker or Bray be the lead singer of that band. Maybe that could be a stipulation. Oh, I don't know. Cool. <laughs> Did you have another one? I've got uh, four more. Four more? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you I've what, you take over, mate. Black. Oh, carry on. Okay. I've got Fiend Alistair Black. I've got Oscar versus EO. I've got Oscar versus Liv Morgan because why not? Well, because why not? And then someone told me, yeah, someone told me to write this down to tell you. I think it was C. I don't know who. Okay. Because I was on a Skype call last night to like have it. Tell him to and put this down as rest, wrestling days versus Yadong. 
<laughs> People love Song Yudong, uh, a UFC fighter. Yeah, they do. Uh, for, those, for those that are, haven't got a clue what we're on about. Um, yeah, very, very popular on at uh, I've got no idea why. I don't know why Song Yadong is so popular. It's, it's a mystery to me. It's an absolute mystery to me. Um, but uh, thank you to whoever you suggested that. Thank you to whoever suggested that. <laughs> so, okay, some great matches there. Um, yeah, some really, really interesting stuff that I would love to see. But um, let's talk about things... Okay, so we've spoken about something that we would love to see. I'm on board with you on those. Great to hear Asuka getting some mentions. Oh. Um, but if you could change something about wrestling, if there's something that niggles at you, what, 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 Sonny, what would that be? What would, what would you change? Are you deep in thought? Ah. Uh. So, I go. wrote a uh, sort of like a small paragraph down uh, about a couple of things, go but like for it. main things. Uh, so I put if I could change one thing, it would be either be the creative team, or it would be me trying to convince Vince to listen to the fans and what we want and why our voices matter, or uh, pushing those who need a big push. That's great. That, that uh, yes, I mean. Yes to all of those, please. The only the only thing I would say is if you change the creative team, they've still got to go and answer to Vince, haven't they? I think I'm, I don't I don't know if it's the creative yeah. team or if it is Vince that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know which. I don't know where. Maybe it's both. I don't know. Let's just try changing everything uh, and see where we get. Let's it put, could be both. Yeah, it could be both. Let's get rid of the creative team. Let's put Linda yeah. Linda McMahon yeah. in charge instead of Vince. We got the wrong McMahon. Oh, hell, Linda. All hail Linda. We gotta get Linda in charge. I tell you what, we are so on the same page, Sonny Wolf. You and me are so on the same page. So, uh, yeah, who would you push just out of interest? You said like glad that we are. Linda's gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Who? So who? Who would you push? You said that you'd give someone a push that deserves it. Who? Who deserves it? Oh, oh, uh. So I'm looking at uh, the people, and I'm, s yeah, I was going to say Ricochet, but I don't know. And then I was going to give someone else, but I forgot their name. Okay. Well, Ricochet. And it sucks that we forget, we forget their names. I should have wrote it all down, too. Uh, yeah, I'm prepared uh, to this. <laughs> there's no, no problems there. Uh, I think Ricochet's a really good shout. I think Ricochet's a, I think he's such a talent. Yeah. Such a talent. He was huge in Lucha Underground. When he was used to compete as Prince Puma, yeah, and uh, he was over in New Japan and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm totally on board with you. With uh... I've never watched New Japan wrestling before. I was told I was told to. Okay, and you've not you've not watched it yet. But it's it's on your to do list. No. What you're not you're not watching? Yeah. It is. It's got a large to do list. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, amazing. Uh, right, okay. So uh, the the community obviously know you because you are a big name, a big feature in a lot of the different streams that happen, certainly all over the Wrestling Days channel. But I know that you've been on uh, Wrestling Escape Pod and The Insiders and you've been absolutely everywhere. And you are known, you are known for your love of Tim Hortons. Sonny, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to give you a platform. I am going to give you a good segment of time now for you to share your love about Tim Hortons. This this very much is what people are going to be tuning in for. This is your opportunity to put them on the map because they're not on the map yet, right? You are going to do it right now. You are putting them on the map. So we don't have them. Well, I don't, I don't think we have them. I've never been in one. I've never even seen one until you mentioned it. I've mm. never even heard you have, of one. You, you, you have them. Do we? Do we? You have uh, Tim Hortons, but they're permanently, they're permanently closed. Okay. Well, uh, I would I argue that we virus. don't have them then. <laughs> if, if you're saying we've got them, but okay. they're permanently closed, that's the same as not having yeah. them. 
So go for this it. This is Tim. There's Tim. Wow, that's how big of a fan she is. She's got uh, one in is, her hand. Yeah. This is Tim. I actually went to Timmy's right before this. <laughs> so this is a nice cap. Wow. So what is it about them? T- tell me, how long have you I been thought... going your whole life? Oh, I, don't... I guess it's... they're pure caffeine and sugar. And I guess I got addicted. Okay. Oh, so I lived in... So I lived in Blenheim, and it was around 2000, I'm going to say 2012, and, my, and I asked my mom if I could try one, and she's like, sure, and so I got addicted to them, and so I went to Timmy's because she gave me the money, Yeah. and they did get my order wrong the first time, but then I got a free Timmy's <sighs> afterwards. I mean, you're not selling them very well at this stage. I'm not going to lie. So I far, so far, we've learned that they got your first order wrong. I can't believe it. So, but, but tell me, what what is it about them that you keep going back? Is there something? In, is it the ice cap? What is it that keeps you going back? I'm guessing the ice cap. Oh. I guess it's because it's cold and it tastes cold and tasty. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It keeps me going. That's do you know what? That's all we need sometimes. That's all we need. Yes, it keeps me going. Just yeah, some, just something that keeps us going. So, um, but what? So the the ice cap would you say is your favorite? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and they do. They have do- a bunch of other stuff, but ice caps are my favorite. Right. Because they're, they're, for those people uh, watching that maybe don't know what they are, they're like a Starbucks, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And or they're like a Costa. You guys have Costa? We do and have apparently Costa. Apparently they're like that. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we have a Starbucks as well. So we have Star... In the mm-hmm. UK, we've got Starbucks. We've got Costa. Um, I feel like there's another big Cafe Nero. Uh, we have those as well. But they're all largely the same. They're all largely the same. Yeah, we don't have a uh, Costa here. We just have the Starbucks and, and Timmy's. There's like 11 Timmy's versus one Starbucks in my, sis, in my city. Do you have a lot of Dunkin' Donuts? No, no. Uh, we don't even... uh, We don't have Dunkin' Donuts Southern. Hmm. I think you got to go to New Detroit. Brunswick or Detroit. something. you got to go to Detroit yeah. Zoo. <laughs> you got to go to Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> yep, let's go to Detroit. Go trip. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so uh, everyone knows you for Tim Hortons. Uh, what about your art? Everyone knows you for your art uh, bombs as well. You you drop yeah. art bombs. So um, What's that? tell me about I've your got... art. Whoa, whoa, that's uh, amazing. Did yeah. you did you that do that? Was, this was, yeah, I did this. It's actually random that I did. I was bored during art class and just doodled and painted. <laughs> Legit, yeah, that's amazing. There's this one too. They're really good. Uh, they? <laughs> they're actually they're like also, really good. Yeah, there there's dot paintings which took me. I'm gonna see if I can do this. This took me like I'm going to say three weeks to do. And that's just made up of dots. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing, dude. That's amazing. That is really. That is amazing. Yeah, it they're... takes a while to do them when they yeah. have the paint. <laughs> they're really, really good. Have you got like a favorite artist or like art style at all? Well, there's a favorite artist I have is Group of Seven, and that's where I got the dot painting thing. It's from Group of Seven artwork, and I have that painting in pastel and pencil crayon drawings somewhere. Okay. So I don't know this person. What was his name again, or their name? Group. Oh, Group of Seven. Group of Seven. And what is, are they known for? Dot painting paintings. No, no. Okay, I've they're got, not I've known got... for dot paintings. What What are they known I, for? Uh, they're known for uh, realism art or something like that. Okay. They uh paint landscapes. And what my grade eleven or grade ten uh crafts class was to recreate a painting into a dot painting. Oh, so I had to use, uh, I had to flip over a paintbrush and use the bottom of the paintbrush. So I had to do dots with it. Right. That's really cool. That's really interesting. 
And uh, how do you feel about Bob Ross? Oh, I love Bob Ross. I love Bob Ross. I love Bob Ross. What a guy. I've got to get to watching his stuff because I think it's on Netflix, but I've got to watch Bob Ross. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I love Bob Ross. got to figure out how he makes those trees. <laughs> those happy trees. He just yeah. drops them in. That's what he does. He just drops them in. Yeah. And, it, you know, I mean, you don't make a mistake. You just, they're just happy accidents. And then, yeah. then he's cleaning his brush against the easel. And I love that, man. I think the if world... I do that, I make a wild mess. Do you? Yeah. You I've can... got paint on my floor from painting rocks. <laughs> wow. You can buy Bob Ross paintings, you know. I'm sure I've seen can them. You? Yeah, I've seen them for sale. I, they might be even on like eBay places like that, but he did obviously he did so many because he did one every episode. Um, and uh, then I should imagine he did some in his spare time as well. But uh, yeah, you can you can get them. In fact, that might be the very first thing I do once we're finished here. I might see if I can get myself a cheeky little Bob Ross. Um, although I doubt it, because I doubt they're cheap. Yeah, I got a ladybug rock that I painted the other day. Oh wow! What is that a ladybug bug kind of a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, I can see it a bit better now. That's really yeah. cool. So okay, we've spoke about a... we've seen some of your art. We've this is a... whoa. All that... I did was pour paint down it. It's abstract rock. That looks really cool. That actually looks really yeah. really cool. That's all I did was just pour paint down, it and I'm like, oh, that looks good. I'm going to yeah. keep it that way. <laughs> so you like to experiment then, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's my go-to experiment. Is that is that something that you want to go on to become when you're older, or where where do you is it just a hobby? See, I think it may be a hobby for now because I wanted to go to college for journalism or okay. art, but who knows? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, fingers crossed, my friend, that uh, you know yeah. that uh, works out for you because you've certainly got talent. There's no denying that. So, uh, yeah. it looks Thank awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So, um. Okay, so we've, we've touched on wrestling, we've touched on Tim Hortons, and we've uh, spoken about art. Is there any other secret, uh, like, passions that you have? Is there any, like, sports teams that you follow? Is there any other hobbies that you have? Is there uh, any particular TV shows you're a massive fan there is, of? Or... Here we go. There are a few. Okay. I do write poetry sometimes. Okay. Uh... I do watch Netflix shows. I mainly watch Lucifer, Once Upon a Time, Schitt's Creek, and The Good Place. Uh, I mean, I don't know much about any of those, if I'm being honest. Uh, mm. So, I, I, Lucifer rings a bell. Is that something to do mm. with Marvel? Uh, Marvel? I don't think so. No, okay. No, it's not Marvel. Okay. Well, then, no, I don't have a clue. <laughs> mm. Okay, so you, you um, watch those sometimes. Do you, do you follow any other sports teams or anything? Uh, I used to watch NASCAR, and I used... Well, NASCAR only watched for the crashes, and then I used to watch hockey for the fights. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so you enjoy crashes and fights. Yeah. Fair play. I mean, you should maybe be a policewoman. Uh, you might, you'd love that. Do you know what I mean? Because you get... Shorts. You get to you get to go to crashes and fights all the time. It's it's kind True. of all they do. <laughs> I would be a police officer, but I can't see over the dashboard. <laughs> well, maybe you could be the first police officer that gets given a booster seat. I don't know. Woo-hoo. Yeah, but I know that your police car would look very funky if you was going to be decorating it, pouring paint all mm. down it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anything else that you want to? Uh, mention before we uh say our goodbyes uh let's see um i do want i do gotta ask you something do you watch any other youtubers because i've watched markiplier jacksepticeye at my own myths and do you know any of those guys i uh, uh to be honest i i used to watch other youtubers before i did youtube um because uh, obviously uh, Tommy Toy Travels I used to watch and Grimm's Toy mm-hmm. Show and people like that. Um, mm. I never really got into the the YouTuber side of things, if you will. So Because I know there's people that are on YouTube that are kind of known for being YouTubers, like PewDiePie, yeah. like, like Markiplier, mm-hmm. 
like yeah. Jacksepticeye. And I think, aren't they all friends? I think those three... Yeah, they're all friends. They yeah, are. yeah. I think those three know each other. Markiplier is doing a thing with Ethan Nestor. I think that's his last name. They're doing a, a channel called Unis Honest, and that channel will be de- deleted in one year. And it's okay. like you have to watch them all, or once it's deleted, you'll never see them again. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That sounds interesting. I mean, uh, you. My opinion is that YouTubers that are positive, you know, use the platform the right way, use it to yeah. inform or educate or entertain, yeah. something, something like that. Then I'm I'm totally down for that. Yeah, that that's how I found you, to be honest, because you were entertaining. I found one YouTuber first, and then I found you. I'm like, I'm gonna stick with you. <laughs> that might be the nicest thing anyone's ever said to anyone. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cry. Uh, nah, dude, I, I appreciate it, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. The um, yeah, but I know there's a lot of negative YouTubers out yeah. there as well, you know. And uh, yeah, I haven't really got so much time for them. Well, I haven't really got time for anyone at the moment. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So who who was it? Marky Plier. I don't even know if I'm saying Jacks- his name right. Jack yeah, I've yeah. heard of them too. Yeah. And who is the other one? Uh, there's Afnow and Mythsand. They do Minecraft videos, but they make it entertaining. <laughs> oh, okay. Myth, myth. Do you know what? I think yeah. I played Minecraft once. I ain't got a clue what was going on. Not a clue. <laughs> I didn't know where I was, who I was, what I was meant to do. I mean, I was guessing I was having to mine. Yeah. But I didn't have a hard number hat one on. Thing. Yeah, number one thing. Hit a tree and you're good. <laughs> Hit a tree? That's what you got to do. Hit trees. Well, you got to mine the trees and then you get okay. wood and then you got to make stuff with it. Right. But the other thing is you can't mine all the way down or you'll get into lava. Wow. God. I just I just don't know if I've got the time to be uh, mining, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> so I might have to leave that to other people. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've always liked games where you build things. I think I'm quite yeah. similar to you. I'm a very, I, I like to think of myself as quite a creative person, someone that enjoys creating things. So yeah, um, yeah I think I would enjoy Minecraft. Are there any games that you play? I I got Animal Crossing uh, Pocket Edition on my tablet because I can't get the new one. But I'm level 15 on Animal Crossing, and I named myself Fiendling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fiendling, that's uh, you do love the the idea, the concept of fiendlings, don't you? Yeah. What is a fiendling? It's a baby fiend. It's a baby fiend. It's a baby fiend. So that's like if Sister Abigail and Bray have a child. Yeah. Yeah. It would yeah, be it would yeah. be a fiendling. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That would that could catch on. I could see that catching on. Yeah. Um. So you what you play Animal Crossing? Um. Is that like take up the majority of your time because that's a long uh, game usually, isn't it yeah usually i play it at night when i need to get to sleep and oh. i have nothing else to do or i'll read a book because the book book i'm reading right now i was contacting the librarian and she's just sending books to me at the moment and i'm on the fourth of the seventh series it's just about an assassin trying to get her kingdom back and, she, and it's like some weird stuff in that like, I read fantasy books. <laughs> when you said you contacted the librarian, in my head, that was the woman from AEW. Um, so you had some sort of relationship with her that I was like, this is amazing. Um, but I'm, start- <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe not. I'm starting to think maybe it's not her. Yeah. Uh, I have a good uh, relationship with my teachers and stuff like that. That's good. That's good. The um... I found out that you guys don't have a grade 13. No, we don't have a grade thirteen. Yeah, ha- uh, grade have... thirteen. Yeah, is when uh you want to go back because you need to learn more, or you're forced to go back because you failed the grade. We don't we don't have failing grades. Mm-hmm. Uh, we uh, here in the UK, you go to school when you're five, and you leave when you're sixteen, and you can either then go to work or you can go on to college. Um, mm. there is, um, so you, you, you leave in year 11. That's what, that's what it's called. Yeah. That's your last year. How many schools do you go to? Do you go to a primary school and then a secondary school? Uh, 
So it's an elementary school, and then it's a high school, and then you go to college. So that's three. Yeah. Four universities, it's four. Yeah. But I've been to four schools in my lifetime. So it's uh. like, I've been one to Chatham, and then I moved to Blenheim, and went one to there, and then I moved back to Chatham, went to a school that school that I did not like, and then I ended up at my high school, which I like. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I mean, we have... just name-dropped a bad school because that school got shut down <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I mean, here, it, it sounds yeah, very... Yeah, it was so bad at school, they shut it down. That's... I mean, you definitely don't want to be going there. You definitely don't want to be going there. Yeah. It sounds It sounds very similar to us here in the UK. We have a primary school and then we have a high school. That's what they called. Yeah. You, you guys have... Um, elementary and then what was the what was the other yeah. one high school do you have high school yeah 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 um yeah but you leave in year 13 yeah you have a choice to go back so you can Got be it. done in grade 12 or you can come back in grade 13 you know you know if people fail like grade eight mm -hmm. do, do you have you... to go you have to go back at grade seven you have to go or back... stay grade eight okay so is that common do you see a fair few people that get kept back? There are a few people who don't do their work and they have to go back once they fail because they know someone who failed and they had to go back a year. So then do you have to get a whole new set of friends? I wasn't friends with them. I barely had friends in the schools. I no, made friends with kids. No, not you. I meant like... If I was the person that got kept back, because let's face facts, I would be. If I was the person that got kept back, I'm going to be going to classes with all new people, aren't I? Yeah, so but you'll means... still be able to hang out with uh, your normal friends. Yeah, you but they're going to be in different classes, learning different things, talking about different things. and Yeah, uh... there is recess, though. Well, that's yeah. There is recess, I suppose. There is recess. Yeah. I, I find it such a weird concept. We we don't have that here. You mm -hmm. you you just go through your whole school life in in the same. Cla well, you do. You go through the whole of uh, primary school with the same class, and then when you move to secondary school or high school, you then go. Through, yeah, you go through with that. We class. had split classes, so it's like sometimes there'll be a seven eight or a six seven class. So, like, you'd never know if you're in grade 7 which class you'll be in. Okay. Wow. I tell you, we've gone down a wormhole here that I was not expecting <laughs> us to go down. Let me tell you that, Sonny Wolf. Let me tell you that. There's, pe there's people going, have they just spent 10 minutes talking about schools and uh, the education system? Yes. Yes, we yep. have. Because that's exactly how we roll. <laughs> we talk about what we want, when we want. And we wanted to talk about the education exactly. system. Yeah. Right. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to throw into the pots? You listen to any music? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's that. I mean, pfft. you're opening a can of worms there, my friend, because uh, I used to work in a music store for 15 years. Oh, did you? Yeah. So um, I've been I, I my life has been my life has been as much about music as it has about wrestling it's it's very interesting yeah very very much uh a, a topic my that... favorite Go on. yeah my favorite teacher is a music teacher okay and and what have you got favorite bands or singers yeah i've got acdc wow i've got guns and roses okay so you I've like got yeah. aerosmith i've got queen yeah you, you like your yeah. rock a more of the way back yeah what about Zeppelin? Yeah, Ze Zeppelin's good. Yeah, and uh, out of all of those, who's your who's your favourite? Ooh, I've got to say ACDC or Guns N' Roses. It's between those. Yeah, they're both cool. They're both cool. Yeah. The um, I think ACDC for me probably had got more well-known hits, if you will. I think Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Don't get me wrong; they've got some great tunes like. Love November yeah. Rain. November yeah. Rain is a tune and sweet. Paradise City is a song that my teacher came to when he was he got hired the first day of the job. He cranked up Paradise City and okay. zoomed into the school. Wow, Paradise City is great. So he's, he's a pretty, yeah, sweet child of mine. Um, yeah, I got myself accidentally into K-pop because I listened to Blackpink, so they're the only K-pop people I listen to. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I don't know anything don't about them. Any, like, well, I heard uh, their song the other day. Yeah, that one. That How one. How you like that? Yeah. Yeah. I listened to that song like probably six times. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was all right. I I, I wasn't crazy on it. I, I don't really get what the whole euphoria is around them, but I, I thought the song yeah. was all right. Um, but I didn't think it was like any better than some of the Lady Gaga would do or Katy Perry would do. Yeah, you know? Lady Gaga's amazing. Yeah, Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga cool. did a song with Black with uh, Blackpink. Ah, well, there we go. It makes she did sense. A song with them. I mean, yeah, I mean, they were very much that song. I've only heard that one song and it was very much like female empowerment. I was getting like Spice Girl vibes from them. They were very much like, you know, sisters mm -hmm. doing it for themselves kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah, I was getting very much girl yeah. power and Spice Girl kind of a vibe, but more of a modern twist on it. So, uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, clearly uh, there's a market for it because uh, I think they had over a million people watching the premiere of that song. Yeah, they uh, they beat BTS. <laughs> oh, really? BTS, BTS had the BTS record. That's another big thing. Yeah, I've, I've, heard, yeah. I, I've not heard their songs, but I've heard of them and I've seen some interviews yeah. with them. There's loads of them, isn't there, in BTS? Yeah. There's a lot. I think I might be a member. I don't know. <laughs> Secret member, ooh. Yeah, well, didn't they got like nine or something in there? Yeah, six, nine. Who knows? Yeah, I know there's a lot. I know there's a lot. So, um, have you got any uh, like favorite albums, or do you not really listen to the albums because you youngsters these days, you you only tend to listen to individual tracks, don't you? You don't tend to put the yeah. Back in my day, you had to buy the album sit down and listen to the, the album. There was no Spotify, Sonny. Well, let me tell you, back in my day, there was no yeah. Spotify. Or yeah, Apple. I had Spotify for a bit. It's like, I, I've i been trying to find YouTube videos where they have the whole album stuff on there just to listen to them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I know my... Go on. I know my music teacher, he has a record player with albums and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I've made paintings for... Uh, my teacher and his wife very cool so uh, have you got a favorite album have you have this is i feel like an old person asking this question because i just don't think albums are where it's at anymore but is there an I album don't remember. you don't remember that's incredible that blows my mind like because i thought that there was an album but i don't remember things greatly yeah but there is an album i think from ACDC that I liked, or there was an album from Lady Gaga I liked, and I, I have no idea. Okay. Back to Black, Highway yeah. Highway to Hell. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all, both of those are classic ACDC albums. Um, yeah. And what was Lady Gaga? I was known for... Uh, Go on. I was, uh, I was known for picking ACDC off the bat for a music project. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, honestly... He was it, like... If I was with like, someone, I'm gonna guess you're gonna choose ACDC. I'm like, yeah, I'm choosing ACDC. <laughs> yeah, good, good call. That it shows that you've got good taste. Um, yeah. I, a big fan of. I don't AC like DC. rap music that much. Oh, you're not a fan of rap. rap? Well, not rap music these days sucks. I like, I like the back then rap. Yeah, old school. Yeah. NWA. I actually, when I was searching for NWA for your stream, the first thing that popped up was NWA. I'm like, hmm, I'm going to have to try and listen to those. Yes. Uh, I've never heard them. Uh, Dr. Dre. I think I've heard of him. Uh, Dr. Dre is a, a huge, huge name. He had a, um, He's had a couple of uh, big, big albums, and obviously he helped produce um, and support Eminem as well like he, he brought mm -hmm. eminem into yeah, the business eminem. well dr dre was in nwa uh, i mean look we're not going to go through the history of hip-hop okay. and whatever but uh yeah definitely check them out but they're um if you want some a little bit on the more friendly side maybe a tribe called quest pretty cool from Ooh. the 90s they got a bit of a funky vibe to them so I uh, like funk. yeah i like tribe called quest they're cool uh, yeah, I've been listening for... to music that's recommended me by YouTube, and it's like just a bunch of funky rock music and stuff. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys man. subscribe to a channel called Common Sense. I don't know if you know it, but if you go there, there's a bunch of music that that's very good. Wow. I, I tell you what, I have learned a lot today. I have learned a lot today. I've learned about uh, YouTubers and YouTube channels that I should uh, mm. check out. I've learned that Detroit has got a killer zoo. That's a fact. I've yeah. learned about the education system in Canada. Uh, you want to uh, know another fun fact about me? Do it. Do it. Is you is that uh, I may be nineteen, but people think I'm like nine. So that so me be, be try, looking like I'm nine got me into some stuff. Like my mom will say I'm nine, and I'll be I'll be getting into it. Will pay less. So like <laughs> it's it's not that expensive. Okay. Like I I still get Happy Meals and I still get kids meals, and I'm like, oh boy, when do I tell them that I'm not a kid? <laughs> the um. I, 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 hang on, Happy Meals though you get less food. That I mean, that sounds like a bad thing. Mm, I don't eat a lot. That's the thing though. Oh, okay. Well, like I wouldn't mind. If I tell you, if someone gave me a Happy Meal, I would I wouldn't be happy because uh, I like to have a, a something to eat when I'm eating. Happy yeah. Meals, you tend to get like little small little things, and it's just like uh. Although I usually get French fries, chicken nuggets, and then a cheeseburger, just cheese. Mm. What are the sizes like in Canada? Because I know the sizes in America are obviously oh. are, are big. Over here, they're not they're not that crazy, to be honest. The sizes, the portions. Mm, I think they might be the same. Right. I haven't been to McDonald's in a while. <laughs> no. Wow. Too busy with Tim Hortons, aren't you? In all fairness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's a Tim Hortons down the street from me that yeah. way, and then there's another one that way. But the one that's this way is like five minutes away. <laughs> You only need to have a Happy Meal because uh, you're filling up on ice caps and donuts from Tim Hortons. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I was trying to say, though, I'm happy that my donut never melted because wow. it's oh, that's there a chocolate dip. A chocolate dip, guys. Confirmed. Chocolate dip. That's what Sunny Wolf is going to be enjoying as soon as I stop keeping up all of her time and uh, deny her from enjoying her chocolate dip. So uh, I, I am going to let you go and eat that chocolate uh, dip now, Sunny Wolf. But uh, I really appreciate the conversation. It was uh, I really enjoyed it. It was great to speak to you in person. Yeah, and uh, It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I tell you, I'd love to just take this opportunity to, to thank you personally for all that you do and all of the support. Um, it's uh, you. you're, a, you're a big, big part of the community. And uh, yeah, man, it's awesome having you around and seeing you on all the various different yeah. streams that we do we got and... back to 1.2k people on ufc <laughs> oh did it i do you know i yeah. i never know how many people are watching i've said this and uh, i've said this before i i don't actually have anything on screen that ever tells me how many people are watching and to be honest mm. I, don't, I don't want to know because if i was sitting there thinking right now there's over a thousand people watching what i'm saying i would mm. i would freak out I don't know. I don't. My brain, uh, would, my brain wouldn't be able to comprehend. Do you know what I mean? I think I would do that too because I've been trying to do stuff for school. Like I've wanted to do talent shows, but I never did it because I always thought about the people. Yeah. So there's that. I don't. I mean, like uh, people watching and things like that. Obviously, I don't have a problem with. I mean, I kind of feel like we have a good couple of hundred, mate. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know how many join us for Raw and SmackDown things. I have. I don't have a clue. A guess, I would say, a hundred and some at two hundred. Um, Four hundred fifty-seven for Raw, and then SmackDown three hundred thirty-seven. Wow, I mean, see, even that NXT is... AEW eight, almost maybe seven hundred people. Wow, no, I'd not a clue, honestly, no idea who who mm. watches. But I never, I never look at that. I never think about that. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I I totally understand what you're saying. Um, to, when you do start to think about it, then you you can kind of it can change how you act. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I might have a shave if I actually yeah. thought that there was some people watching. I might have a shave. <laughs> I might not look hey, like a scrub. The beard. Yeah. People were saying shave the beard. I'm like, don't let him keep the beard. He looks nice with the beard. Let him keep the beard. He's happy. Yeah. He's not hurting anyone. Awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you uh, to uh, Sonny Wolf for joining us. Um, and uh, thank you to everyone that's, that's watched this as well. Do you want to give a shout out to people that are watching this? Uh, shout out to William Hensey. Wow. Uh, 
The Hensy Dogs. Sea Wrestling. Sea Wrestling. Jody Gilley. Jody Gilley. Jesse Callen. I mean, you don't have to name everyone Austin individually. Austin 316. Okay, well, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like you are. <laughs> Settle down, everyone. She's going through the list. <laughs> Insiders. Yeah, we no, I, I'm going to stop you there. I know you could name yeah, everyone because yeah. you see them all in the chat, but um, yeah. you don't need to do that. You can just give a shout out to everyone that's that's watching. Shout out to everyone. Woo-hoo. There we go. There we go. See, that's a, it's a cleaner way. That way you don't accidentally miss anyone. Yeah, or yeah. People are like, why did you name me 20th? Why was I not in the first five? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, it cuts yeah. out all that drama. All that unnecessary yeah. drama, so. There we we go. don't need the drama. We don't need the drama. We don't need the drama. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you to Sunny Wolf for joining us, and hopefully see you again next time. Bye for now.